Welcome, we are doing the recording of 38th of December's Godly Blessing. Supreme Father is reminding us that there are actually two powers in this world. One is the hard way and the second is the easier way. So people generally are using the harder way and they have been using this hard way since the Copper Age or since the time of Adam and Eve they fell into sin. And that's why it's mentioned in certain scriptures like even the Bible that they had to toil and Adam had to sweat out to earn money and that's what we have been doing for a very long time so god says there's a method of using the divine or godly powers instead of using the hard way and you can still get the work done as compared to people in the first case who know people who have uh, contacts who have chair and position and they get the work done through that but there is another power which is known as a spiritual power or godly power where you can use your thoughts, you can use the virtues and the values and you can still get the work done. So we're going to explore that over here in this today's blessing. Let's go ahead. God says, may you have guaranteed victory and achieve success at every moment while experiencing all the powers. Now these powers are power to face, power to tolerate, power to accommodate, power to judge, power to discern, power to withdraw and uh, power to cooperate. There's so many different powers which one can use to actually reach out to that level. Now these powers are spiritual powers which are bestowed upon us by the Supreme Creator where your vibrations, your aura gets the work done. That means you have to have a very pure and divine intellect, clean and clear intellect. No greed, no judgment, no ego, no jealousy, no bad feelings. And with that clean and clear intention, even God and all his creation who are aligned with him are there to help you out. Imagine that kind of help. How powerful would that be? Wouldn't that be something which is permanent as compared to you using your worldly powers, your contacts, your communication with people, your chair, your position? For how long will that work? Exactly. That will be known as manipulation or hard work. So God says, the victory of the children who are full of all the powers have intellects full of faith and have guaranteed success. When people have the power of wealth, the power of wisdom, or the power of relationships and connections. They have the faith that nothing is a big deal to attain or to achieve. You have all the powers. Now, this is a spiritual thing. You have all the powers. You constantly have the greatest imperishable wealth with you. That means we know how to behave in a situation, how to behave around people, what to say, what not to say, how to be neutral and pure and divine in God's light and then make every decision. Our reactions are the most important. Therefore, you have the power of wealth. You also have the power of wisdom and position. You have the power of wealth. Now, this is spiritual power. That means divine power. We actually know the future, the present and the past. And we know what decisions we should make right now, which are going to impact the future. Whereas the world doesn't know that. The world is thinking in its own way. That I'm going to make this, I'm going to create this, I'm going to do this. But they don't know what is God's plan. And God says, I've already declared the plan to you. What is going to happen to the world in the coming 10 to 14 years? So make your plans as for that. So isn't that wisdom? God then says, therefore you have the power of wealth. You have also have the power of wisdom. And position. Position means godly child. God's given wisdom means a very high position as compared to what you learn from the world, the worldly education. Compare that wisdom to this wisdom, which is God-given wisdom. Then God says, so you simply have to use these for yourself. That means you have to make your life simpler, make your life perfect by using these powers and using this wisdom. Use these for yourself and you will achieve success at the right time. So this is the right time for everything. We cannot force things around. You cannot push things around. You cannot bulldoze things around. You cannot order people around. You cannot push them around. You cannot manipulate them around. And that's where it's short-lived. With the powers of post position and chair, it's all short-lived. With power of money, it's short-lived. Not very, very long. So that's what God says. Practice this. Understand how you do it. And then feel the power when the results come. And you'll actually realize the difference between using that power, worldly power of manipulation and hard work and pushing things around and using this power. 
To know the difference, you'll have to attend the seven day, one hour a day session at Brahma Kumaris and get the mind clean and clear and have your sixth sense become powerful and get the things done with this Om Shanti.